This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. So far, 2024 has been pretty good to the Blues. They battled some of the toughest teams in the league and secured points in four of the first five games of the new year. Tonight, they finished off their homestand against Philly, who had no intentions of being the Blues' next impressive conquest. The captain, Braden Shen, played in his 900th career game tonight, appropriately against his former team from Philly. Flyers struck first. Scott Loughton beats Joel Hofer, 1-0 Philadelphia. Blues would answer. Oscar Sundquist jams one home on the suddenly red-hot Blues power play. We're tied at one. Flyers take the lead back. Just look at this goal coming up. Off Joel Hofer's mid, off his head, then tipped in by Ryan Poling. That is an impressive goal. Blues respond once again. Brandon Saad avoids the stick on the ice. Lasers one past Carter Hart. We're tied at two in the third period. Then the goal of the night, Owen Tippett jukes Justin Falk out of his skates, puts the backhand past Joel Hofer. Here's another look at it. That is impressive. Philly added an empty netter. They win four to two. We didn't have enough effort in our game uh, in the hard areas. Um, you know, we continue to mismanage the puck, you know, that is, you know, making it difficult on our team to have to defend, which, you know, makes it easy for them to get more offensive zone time, more shots on the net. A month from today, pitchers and catchers will have their first official workout of spring training in the books. For the Cardinals, it has been an offseason of reflection. After the franchise's worst season in nearly three decades, the team made some notable pitching moves to bolster the rotation. But the question still persists. Why will this year be different than last year, both individually and for the team? Here's what a few of the players said at winter warm-up today. I think, I think last year this taught us about uh, how to stay as a team. Uh, baseball, baseball is not individually. You can think of uh, individually, but at the end of the day, if the team is not in the same page, we're not going anywhere. When you get you know, slapped in the face, you figure out pretty quick what, what doesn't work. So I'm looking forward to this year. I'm looking forward to uh, correcting the wrongs that I had last year on the mound. And, you know, we were able to uh, identify some of those pretty quick. Going through that as a team, um, you know, it, it tests you for sure. There's definitely uh, different things. You know, not a lot of us have experienced that. So um, kind of just, I guess, Knowing no one wants that now, you know, obviously no one wants to experience what we experienced. Um, we're just, you know, looking forward to going out there and competing and making sure it doesn't happen. NFL playoffs today. Steelers Bills was supposed to be played yesterday, but the weather pushed it to this afternoon. Snow still covered most of the seats. Buffalo rolling early. Josh Allen doing Josh Allen things. Takes off. Just doesn't want to go down. 52 yard touchdown run. It was 21 nothing at that point. Bills fans are going to go crazy with the snow here. I don't blame him. I would do the same thing. Pittsburgh made it a game. Mason Rudolph to Calvin Austin. Seven-point game in the fourth. Bills had the last laugh, though. This was another wild play. Khalil Shakur bounces off everybody. He iced things late. Buffalo wins 31-17. They will host the Chiefs next week in Orchard Park. It was another draft day for the Battlehawks. As you can see, they emphasize defense and linemen in today's UFL dispersal draft. And spring training isn't the only thing sneaking up on St. Louis sports fans. The Battlehawks begin their training camp on February 24th. Won't be long. We'll have baseball, <laughs> baseball, Battlehawks, football, hockey. It's all going to be going at once. Yeah. Yeah. We could use some of the warmth of baseball. I'll take that. A final check of the frigid and snowy forecast when we come back.